open heaven for tonight's meeting. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate him. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We magnify your name. We exalt your name, Lord. We worship you, Adonai. Ageless, changeless, darkless one. We thank you for the first day of this meeting. We thank you for the second day. We thank you for the third day. And we thank you for this day. To you be all the praise. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Adonai, for the release of the blessing so far. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to lift up your voice again and say, Father, open the heaven over tonight's session. In the name of Jesus, open the heaven law for the flow of your presence. Open the heaven law for the flow of your power. Open the heaven law for the flow of your anointing. Open the heaven for the flow of fresh oil. Lift up your voice and talk to God. We made the man so law that you rent the heavens open for fresh oil, for fresh fire, for fresh anointing, for fresh grace, for fresh glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the heavens be open. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and talk to God. Lito Jack. Kabara la baza da bara, e projo la mana bara da baza dia, e la tua suquete para da bara da ba, e le projo na bara da bara dia, e le projo gada gaya bara da. We made the mazo law for open heaven over tonight's session. In the name of Jesus, we ask, O King of Glory, for the flow of Your presence, the flow of Your power, the flow of Your anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Ezekiel chapter two, verse two. He said, the spirit entered into me and set me upon the feet as he spake unto me. Say, Father, we made demands on the help upon your servant, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, pass through your servant to minister to me. Pass through your servant to visit me. Help your servant to help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and talk to God. Lito shaka parada bazada barada. Lito zanita barada balada ba. Etwazi lito ko parada balada ba. Ela tuaji nata barada ba. Ligo shaga lita rada gazadia. Le parada bazada ba. Father, flow through your servant. The word in season. The word of the hour. The word of the moment in the name of Jesus, help your servant Lord to help us. Do you be all the praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name? We we'll pray. A believer will shout it louder, Amen. I believe the Lord has been so wonderful to you, and you have a testimony you need to share with the house. A minister will be right back there at the entrance. Please go give him your name, and you shall be made to testify before the people of God. And more testimonies will locate you in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome the praise team. Clap your hands, so we people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Celebrate the King of Kings. Father, we love you. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out a praise. Pour out a praise. It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out a praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. Oh, oh, great are you, Lord. It's your breath, it's your breath. In our lungs. So we pour out, we pour out the praise, pour out, pour out the praise, in your breath. breath in our lungs. So we pour out, so we pour out the praise, oh, your it's your breath. In our lungs. So we pour out the praise, we pour out the praise, in our lungs. So we pour out, we pour out. Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, the sports will sing. Great are you, Lord. All the air will 
Jehovah, you do it. You are wonderful. Hiya. You have turned things around. Jehovah, you do it. Yeah, yeah, 
Somebody's free. 
چه دویانی و نه یک یک لنا
someone ready for a shift tonight? If you are ready, give God a clap and a shout of praise. Please, you may be seated. It's testimony time. We have coming up for testimonies tonight is Mrs. Rhoda Moses. Brother Okaku Julius. Brother Abu Bakr Mohammed, all the way from Adamawa State. Dr. Alidu Abraham. If you heard the name, please come quickly. May we keep clapping. May we keep clapping. May we keep celebrating God as they make their ways forward. Again, Mrs. Rhoda Moses, Brother Ogaku Julius, Abu Bakr Mohammed from Adama State, and Dr. Halidu Ebra. Please keep clapping, they're coming all the way, some from behind. All right, Sister Rhoda. Sister Rhoda Moses, please, this way. Your testimony, please, straight to the point. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for this great commission. Our daddy, our mommy, for you to say yes to the Almighty God. Your life has blessed me. Hallelujah. Day before yesterday, our daddy was preaching here and he was preaching about pains. And that particular time, I was in pain because I went to the hospital and did some series of tests. And uh, I, I was diagnosed with cancer of the breast. And as they did the biopsy, there was a wound on my breast. And that wound, instead of getting healing, it was expounding. And the breast became so, uh, it became so wounded and terrible. So it becomes a reproach to me. And my daughter called me from that daddy is going to have a crusade in Lokoja some time ago. That she had a dream, that in that dream, when I came for that crusade, I was healed. But I was not able to go then. And I heard of this convention. One of my niece told me, go to Genu Otter for this program. And by the grace of God, I came from Joss. And I came to attend. And the day I entered these premises, I told God, you said I should cast all my burdens on you. All right, you have to go to the point now. What happened? When God's servant began to declare yesterday. When daddy was preaching about pains, I was in a serious pain there, uncontrollable. I even make a move to come and lie down on this quipit. But before he finished preaching, the pain that I was having very hot disappeared. The following day, yesterday, there was no pain at all. Yesterday, throughout. So today I went to uh, the... That is medical center. And they open it. And in fact, what I saw was amazing. I want to say God is wonderful. May his name be praised forever and ever in the name. And cancer has checked back to hell. I don't know what came in here with you. It is not returning with you. That amen can be better than that. Congratulations, ma. I had given the Lord the praise. Whatever the enemy has planted in you is over. Amen. Next person. Brother Ogaku. All right. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Ogaku Julius. I am here to return all the glory to God of Dunamis. My testimony has been the testimony of carry out the instruction from this altar. I joined this commission from one of the Orthodox churches in 2012 after my NYC 
a journey down to 2016 at Destiny Recovery Convention like this at Area 1 Church there. I went back home after the evening section. After my usual prayer, I laid. I ha had an encounter with Daddy, the, grand, the, the great Grand General, which Pastor E.A. Adeboye, Bishop David Oyedepo, and our Papa here in, in the house. A voice came from Pastor E.A. Adeboye that's Paul, please come. This is your son. You be that's talking about him. Go ahead. Yeah. You be the first person to lay your hand on him. My daddy here laid his hand on me, followed by Bishop David Oyedepo and our grand great grandpapa A.E. Adeboye. From there, down, journey down to 2019 again, I started a particular building project in 2016, but it seemed that the, the, my life was a bit grounded, kind of. Then I came into the 2019 with so many expectations. Daddy made now, before that encounter, his life was shattered, battered, and scattered. Nothing working. And he saw in the dream of the night, our Father in the Lord here, and our spiritual lineage. Our Father in the Lord was right in front, leading him right to the village. They got to the village, and he asked him to kneel down, and he knelt down. And the senior pastor laid hands on him. And as he got up from that revelation and returned, everything changed. The man who could not afford even food, all of a sudden, right now he has a building of his own. The picture is here. He has a building of his own. He has been able to build a house from an orphanage somewhere. And God has turned his life around 360 degrees. I don't know in what condition you came here. God is turning your story around tonight. In Jesus' name. Let me take the next. You shared this with me. The next. No, sir. The man there. Please come. All right. Okay, sir. Please. Your testimony is straight to the point. Hallelujah. My name is Abubakar Mohammed from Adama State, a Fulani Muslim convert. He was not just a Muslim, he was a Fulani, and now he's a Christian. Let's put our hands together for Jesus! I came here 2018, November. I was trusting God for direction. I was trusting God to open doors for me because I am due for marriage. I wanted to take a wife. So when I came... Uh, the program was going on, then I fell under the anointing. I have an encounter with the servant of God, daddy here. So after that, I went back home. Within that time, I got the money for my wedding. Within a period of uh, seven months, they have the wedding. We have a successful uh, wedding with uh, my wife. Many people came, house of assembly, people that I did not even invite. I suffer rejection, persecution from the family, suffer many things. After that, I went for evangelism, preaching for the lost soul. Actually, recently, I, I went to my Muslim uh, flying people. I have the picture here with me to preach to them. I thank God for what God has done for the grace that was bestowed on me through this commission. I went to, for the evangelism. Through that evangelism, we have so many Fulani people that are repented, so many converts. We have the picture with us. And I, I came here to return all the glory. And I came here to receive more fire from daddy to go because I have a mission ahead for the people that are lost. Thank you. I am excited with this kind of testimony. I don't play with it. There are two ways for God to give the church rest from the troublers of the church he will save some and kill some he saved Paul and killed Herod mind you Herod the tetrarch 
that the angel smote was the same Herod that Paul grew together with. So God will save those who are willing to be saved and waste those who are willing to be wasted. Do you have the pictures of them here? Come let him show you. Is that a picture? That's a picture of those who gave their life to Christ. Even during this wedding. All right. Stand up on your feet. To say in your language the, the testimony you just gave fulfill the language I cannot speak it okay just speak any praise to God with the language can you any praise to, to God or oh, you are not you are not you are not yes, I can't all right go ahead you are talking to the camera amen hallelujah I can speak fulfill the set that said that just okay. Waru so bad you waru jabu yesu janta me ye di me ye di ma yesu me ye di me ye di ma yesu. The the meaning of the song said, uh, that is uh, so come somebody let's praise God together. All right. We love you. We love you, God. All right. Lift yes. up your hand. It's for the. He says he needs more fire. We are asking that God will use him to touch the lives of his people, touch headsmen, and, and rescue them from destruction and disaster. Father, let, let the fire fall upon him and let the grace be released to touch the people of this tribe. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh oil in the name of Jesus to reach out to the lost in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Dr. Halidu. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Halidu Abraham. I came all the way from local Jacogi State. I'm here to give glory to God for helping me many years ago, about 31 years ago, to have an encounter with our spiritual father, Dr. Paul Enenche. I am privileged to be one of the few people that he pastored when he was not yet a pastor. Praise God. I will shorten the whole story so that I don't take too much time. In 1990, July, I had given my life to Christ, but I didn't have a church. So the first few churches I went, I went to Catholic for two weeks or thereabout. I was not satisfied. So I decided I was going to return back to the mosque because I didn't understand what they were doing there. I concluded that it is better to go and do what you know than to follow what you don't understand. After making up my mind that I was returning back to the mosque, one day I was sitting down, I can't remember, suddenly he came around and sat beside me and said, is it true you're not a Muslim, you're not a Christian? Because before then I had been a Muslim and grew up as a Muslim. I entered the university as a Muslim and somehow I gave my life to Christ. Let's shorten the story there. So I said, yes, I'm now a Christian. said, which church do you attend? I told him I don't have church. So he took me to, he told me that he's going to take me to his own church. So that Sunday he took me to El Shaddai Covenant Church, pastored by Pastor James Irobe. When we came back from church, he now asked me whether I know anything about the Holy Spirit. I told him I have heard about it, but I don't know much. So we sat down, he opened the scripture and showed me some scriptures about the Holy Spirit. That was how in 1990 he prayed for me 
and I received the Holy Ghost baptism. Praise God. That day, I received the Holy Ghost baptism. I usually say I prayed for six hours. I can remember. Non-stop for six hours. It marked the beginning of the change and the turnaround in my life. Praise God. For these 31 years, I have benefited from his counsel, his prayers, giving me divine direction, and all kinds of encouragement from our spiritual father. But let me just give some quick uh, testimonies of what God used him to do in my life. When I finished from medical school and became a doctor, I had so much, so many plans. But my plans began to change because of the way he was operating. I realized that he graduated from medical school and within, I think, a month or two, he got married. I began to wonder, how can somebody marry just after graduating from medical school? So I made up my mind, I'm going to follow him. <laughs> Me, Ma, I go marry. So based on his, the way he was uh, 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 running life, I decided to run like him. So I decided to get married as a copper. So I got married as a youth copper. And I want to appreciate him for his love for people. Our father lost people. He... Are you just sitting like that? Let's celebrate God. He normally talk about his Volvo car. I was a beneficiary of the Volvo car. He came to Adoka Kogi State with the Volvo car to attend my traditional wedding. He was there at my church wedding. And today I'm a consultant gynecologist. I have a private practice in Lokoja Kogi State, the Helping Hands Women Hospital. All through his mentorship, I remember I would have abandoned the program. I thought I was wasting my time. I wanted to go into ministry. So, and I was already doing the residency training. So I came to Abuja to meet him. And he said, God can never start a thing he didn't finish. With that counsel, I returned back. I wouldn't have been a consultant and ecologist today, except for that counsel. I returned back to Joss and finished up the program. And became a consultant and ecologist. I went to Lokoja. He came to Lokoja and um, prayed on the hospital before I started seeing any patient and also prayed for us to start ministry. Today, the ministry is doing well, we thank God. We have branches all over Kogi State, down to Benue State. Hallelujah. And uh, you can't come into Lokoja and say Revival House and people say they are not aware of that church existing there. January 2004, our father was there to uh, start us up, me and my wife, in that ministry. And God has been awesome. God has been faithful. Now, finally, because of time, last year, around November, I discovered I had a growth on my right chest wall. In medical language, you call it lipoma. It was growing and growing. So I told my wife that I've been praying on this growth. It's not going. And we're considering going whether I will go to meet our colleague surgeon so that they can remove the lipoma. So I heard our father was coming to Lokoja for crusade in March. I thanked my God. I said, this growth, it must go. He has always appeared in my life when I have a challenge. And I know this time around, God will use him again. So at the local Jack crusade, God healed me of that lipoma. The growth disappeared. Now, I am a surgeon, actually. And for a surgeon to be healed of a growth, you know, is, is a massive, massive thing. And I, I, I want to appreciate for being in local Jack. You came for me. And that growth left. Give the Lord a big and clap of hands. I am totally healed of that growth. Oh yes. Every day I will touch the place, whether it is it there, <laughs> and the growth has gone and gone and gone forever and ever. Daddy, I appreciate you. 
give Thank the you, Lord sir. a big clap and a loud shout of praise. The Bible said, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Without a prophet, it is hard to have any profit in life. He started being pastored right from the campus. He st stood beside me and said, oh, I want to see the way you are praying. I want to pray like that. And from level to level to level, I laid hands on his operation table. He's a fellow of the West African College of Surgeons, which is the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. And I laid hands on his operation table. And I told him, I said, from this moment forward, this table is preserved and there shall be no calamity. He said, for the last how many, 14 years or 15 years of that, 17 years of surgery on that table, no calamity on that table. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. That is the kind of God we serve. That is the kind of God. He came, he said, he has finished primary, his next for the next stage. The fire is too much, he wants to leave and go into ministry. I said, no way. You started the program already, go and finish it. He went and finished it. And he said, see, I prophesied to somebody, you will not miss direction. He, he thought that when he came, I would tell him, all right, it's, too, it's true. Go, go, go. Don't finish the course. No way. He finished it. And now, God is mightily at work with him. I prophesy to you, you will not miss direction. You will not miss direction. You will not miss purpose. Shout the Lord and say amen. Give the Lord the praise. Take your seat. Hallelujah. What a faithful God. To take us further tonight, we have two ministers for special ministration, and they'll be coming in this order, Emma Sings and Prosper Ochimana. Imama Chuku on a pugi koya Ihu nanyaya Kari rai nangota Udon konyere Uwa pugi nyeya Okwe siro tuto Hallelujah Imama Chuku on a pugi koya Ihu nanyaya Kari rai nangota Udo konyere Uwa pugi nyeya Okwe siro tuto Hallelujah On a puta Oh, nana, I'm pity. Oh, me woka, guzon and oke kume. Oh, tinye wo, abuto, nonunta, abu ototo, hallelujah. Oh, Shakoteba, oh, me will come, Guso, Neno can come, oh, Tinewo, Abu Ton, Anuta, Abu Otto, Hallelujah, Ibu Eben Baba, Nebe, Usirike, No Chesiki. Kamburu ikwere 
Eko satama ni kabada Obi mnonantiwa Anya miribara Dikamlo Imama chineke Ibuwe bembaba Nekwe usirike No chesi Kanguru ikbere Eko sana bako taba Obi Anasimela Imela Imela Akame soro ni mozi nene Yekele Akame soro ni mozi na Chakima Akame soro ni mozi nene Yekele Jesus Akame soro ni mozi na Chakima Akame soro ni mozi nene Yekele Akame soro ni mozi na Jagima Oshimiri Nerugari no tutongina Ekatoba Ahiga no no ya nebubaka Nenyegekele Umumadu pinua Nebikere na jagima Anasimela Himela Himela Otikonye gina ya Natiye Wati konye gina ya Nachi neligwe Wati konye gina ya Nachi yese Wati konye gina ya Nachi neligwe Wati konye gina ya Nachi yese Owe ki onye gina ya Nachi neligwe Okaka O kaka Ese Itie bube Ahaki Ture di buwe Chua O ti konye Gina ya Na chi ese Asa O mwe ki onye Gina ya Na chi Neli kwe O ti konye Gina ya Na chi ese O mwe ki onye Gina ya Na chi O kaka, o kaka, ese, iti e bube, ahaki, chure li guwe, chua, onye ndi mozi na madu nekele, onye ndi mozi na madu nekele, onye ndi mozi na madu, na kuisha lage, e kato kopayana, e shakata na maketa, e brakota na masita, e shakata,
Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. 
Christ is raising from the dead. Sing, Christ is risen from the dead. We will sing, Christ is risen. We will sing, Christ is risen. We will sing, Christ is risen from the dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see Christ is risen. We will see Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. We'll sing. Father, we honor you. We adore you. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In the name of Jesus.
sing hallelujah to your name. Thank you. In Jesus name we have worship. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's been an awesome time in God's presence for the past four days. And tonight's session is yet going to be a movement to another level. When Jabez prayed in First Chronicles chapter 4 in verse 9, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren and his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bear him with sorrow and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast and that thine hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted him that which he requested you would also want to say and god granted him that which he desired you could also say god granted him that which he expected he set out in praying he itemized what he desired and then he spoke it to god and then he was in expectation and without a doubt god answered him do you know how i know if you back up to chapter 2 of that first chronicles and in verse and in verse 55 hidden there somewhere he says and the families of the scribes which dwell at jabez uh -huh. the man that was rejected Sorrow was his name. His identity was sorrow, retrogression, backwardness, stagnation, downcastedness, rejection. The same man by expectation and at the place of prayer, God transformed his life and blessed him indeed and enlarged his course until he had a city named after him. And that was the abode of the scribes. Those are kept records in Israel. I don't know what your expectation is here. But tonight, it's like the penultimate night. And I want you to be desperate. Let there be a desperation in your heart. As it was in the heart of Jabez. We're going to stand up and we're going to pray. But before we do that, you have an offering that you have brought before the Lord. I want you to use this tonight as, do I call it a seed faith? Father, I sow this tonight. So that by the time I am leaving this place, my life and destiny will be so transformed that from one extreme to another, in appreciation one extreme to another in rise one extreme to another in increase how can a person say I'm an engineer I've been constructing roads and houses and buildings now I am a proud farmer I have 105,000 laying beds how about now God is about to do something for you that would be such a dramatic shift if none of the testimonies you heard this afternoon moved you i don't know what's going to move you to be desperate and ask for god lift up your offering and then we're going to stand up on our feet and we're going to take about two minutes more to pray about five minutes more to pray intercede tell god father i don't want to live here the same way i came oh god like jabez i come to you in prayer today as god's servant comes up this evening i ask oh god that my word will drop somebody sent a message to us after the afternoon service and said i got a light and he has an abbreviation for it t-o-a tight of all it's like a load was lifted from his life the struggle which one is profit which one is uh, his capital which one is blah 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 a load lifted t-o-a has come to solve his problem something has to drop for you today 
that will transform your life and destiny. Lift up your offering. We cast these offerings and then we continue in prayer. Father, we ask that you receive this of our hands. We saw it, oh God, as a point of contact for light to down on us. Let a revelation, let an insight, only one thing that will hear, that will transform our lives and our destinies. Father, receive it of our hands in the name of Jesus. We are going to cast that offering. They will just be passing it as we are praying. Now lift up your voice and say after me, Father, tonight I ask that you release your word upon me that will transform my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let us pray. Let us attack. Let the, the, we have prayed on the offering. You can cast it. Lift up your voice and let us pray. Father Lord, I ask for your transforming power. I ask for an encounter. I ask for a word. Just one word. Just one word is enough to change my life. I ask for that life changing word tonight. I ask for an encounter tonight. One of the people that testified enumerated five, five points he received that a business school, um, Solomon's business school, those things catapulted his life, his business, everything, do not exceed, you know, all manner of things and as he began to put them to practice, and there was one common denominator, the tithe and every one of them, at the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is confirmed, lift up your voice, Father give me what I need to hear that will move my life forward Move my ministry forward from this place. Let me go and become a builder of cities. Let me go and become a transformed life. Let me go and let my generation look for me. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, I don't want to take these meetings for granted. Father, I have not come for funfair. I have not come for socialization. I have come to encounter you. I have come to encounter you.
of Jesus. The Lord has heard our prayers and has answered us today in the name of Jesus. Please, you may be comfortably seated and we shall be proceeding in the following, um, in the rest of the service as we receive the ministry of Dunamis Voice. And they will be ministering and leading us in a time of worship from one or more of the songs received and written by God's servant, the senior pastor. As the minister, I believe that it will prepare you for that word that shall land in your spirit and light up your life in the name of Jesus. Let's receive Dunami's voice this evening.
to myself. No, you cannot leave me. Don't leave me to myself. Oh, Lord, I'm begging you. For you, my heart, my heart, and after you, Lord, for some that's something that's more. That's more.
in the presence of the Lord.
be upstanding. Maybe 17 years ago, this song was played by a saxophonist in our church in Jos. A child that was there, 12 years old, born deaf, dumb, father dead, mother dead. The ear opened, tongue loosed. She spoke plain. Began to cry. The whole congregation began to cry. That was the first. This was my first experience of the instrument of the sax, the flute, the wind instrument. From that day, I began. I played this the instrument in seven days, within three days. All that seven days, I had played it. And as I'm playing this same song now. The Lord reminded me of that day. Saying that there will be openings right now. Openings not just of wombs, not just of ears or eyes, spiritual eyes open, spiritual ears open, wombs open, destinies open, and whatever is closed. Lift up your hands right now. The service of today is different from other days, morning and evening. I'd like you to lift your hands and begin to experience the openings right now. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up.
Gayadish, Leia Yaba Hasida, Leia Yaba Hasiga, Le Perite Site Lite Rite Badoyala Hasi, Le Pirata Sine Megadayite Le Beredayashi, Le Perite Site Ridoya, Laya Pasi, Koramadaya, Le Peretisa Tele Beredia, Le Kesite Lite Paradia. Something is open, is opening right now, is opening right now. And Destiny is opening right now. A womb is opening right now. Lift your hands up. Lift it up. Something is about to open. A woman trusting God with the fruit of the womb with the right ear that is not hearing. That fruit of the womb trusting God is like between 8 to 10 years thereabout. If you are here, the Lord is opening the ear and also opening the womb. Lift up your hands everywhere you are if you are here. And if you are not here and you are watching online, you let, you let us know that that word came for you deaf in the right ear trusting God for the fruit of the womb and God is opening both the ear and the womb Mashato, if your own duration is of a different duration and that combination is your combination you can also let us know you step forward and let us know everybody here lift your two hands now when I say in the name of Jesus one two three you scream open that open is the opening of your destiny that open is the opening of your of your spiritual eyes spiritual ears opening of your of everything that is closed around your life opening of business doors that open open is the opening of your marital doors your financial doors your career doors are you ready lift your hands high let perita sit alana father let it open 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 whatever has been closed by the enemy i declare the opening of whatever has been closed shut yes that's right something is already happening 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 father let this be the opening opening of that door opening of that womb and you shall be testifying before this program is out 
that there is an opening father let it be shida la da hasina na la hushadi le perita sada yaga la hashtalo roste fida ke predica zala stelo managasi stelo managasi le friti gaza gadashta le friti gaza gadashta le credi minagazola le credi minagazola le pranagagazalashte shelo prati satala baba father let it open right now I said when I say in the name of Jesus one two three you scream open at the top of your voice father let it be in the name of Jesus one two three open open your mouth praise Yes, 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 yes. She Precious name, it is open, and you shall testify. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as you take your seat. We shall be taking testimonies at the end of this night. Again, I mentioned a woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb between eight, nine, or ten years that his ear is blocked. If there is that person either here or online, let us know. Why, why is it that someone, people are coming and the usher stop them? What happened? Yes, come forward, come forward. Dr. Mr. Nenshi, help me interview that woman. You are seated on the throne, the lion and the lamb. There is none like you. You're seated on the throne, the lion and the lamb. There is none like you. You, my God, you reign. Yes, you reign. Jesus, you reign. Yes, you reign. My God, you reign. Jesus, you reign. Jesus, you reign. Yes, you reign. Ele, Ele, oh, Ele, 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 oh, Ele, oh, 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 Ele, Ele, oh. Eleo, Eleo, Eleo. You are seated on the throne, the lion and the lamb. Oh, the boy, the boy. There is no lucky. You are seated on the throne, oh, the boy, the boy. What happened? It's amazing. I, I mean, the accuracy is frightening. She came in all the way from Motuko for this convention. She has been married. She has two daughters. 
Then the stepmother who has been antagonizing her all the years told her, is it that whether she will see how she will have a male child. From that 10 years, her daughter, the last one, is 10 years old. No other That's conception. secondary infertility. Secondary infertility. Trusting God for the fruit of a male child. And then, from that day, this right ear was blocked. She Since cannot hear years. with it. Yes, sir. And as you made that declaration, Fire! it already opened. The ear was already open. Yes, sir. Hey! This is not a testimony. It is a sign. It's a sign. This is a sign. It's a sign to somebody that everything the devil has blocked and closed in your life is open right now. Is open right now. Is open right now. Is open right now. And everything that witchcraft has tied around your life. Every time, everything that a curse, a spell, a divination has tied and closed and blocked around your life, I declare it is unblocked Amen. in the name of Jesus. Close this here. Close this here. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I receive my children. I receive my children. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give the pin the praise. Is there somebody who believes here that something the devil has closed in your life has opened just now? Then give Jesus a 60 second shout of victory. A 60 second shout of victory. 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 This is not just a testimony, it is a sign. What I mean by that is if there are 1,000 people here today, trusting God for the an opening whether it's the opening of a womb or a marital door or a financial door this sign says it is open it ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the door is open the business door is open the financial door is open the marital door is open ah, yeah, and those watching online and watching via the television it is open for you in Jesus precious name take your seat would have gone in this direction but there's no time no time to go in this direction you are here with that ulcer also trusting God for the fruit of the womb side by side with an ulcer today it is gone forever in the name of Jesus you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb and you have arthritis on your knee the knee is healed right now in the name of Jesus check the ulcer you are trusting for the fruit of the womb and you have ulcer as well you can't find that ulcer anymore you rush to the front here you cannot find that pain on your knee anymore you also rush to the front here that is you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb ulcer at the same time fruit of the womb knee arthritis at the same time and now you can't feel any of them yes quickly from this woman this woman came in here I, 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 he was talking to this came in here yes with ulcer, with ulcer condition, and arthritis. arthritis trusting God for the fruit of the womb for 16 years the same person accurate what sir ulcer and arthritis and, arthritis. and trusting for 16, 16 years, years. Ah! 
fire of the Holy Ghost. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. You are going to bring forth your children. Again, another sign. I announce, I decree, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Everything that is closed in your life, closed in your marriage, closed concerning your destiny, it is open. Mother, lay womb on her. Fruitfulness established in the name of Jesus. Another precise word here, sir. 16 years trusting God for the fruit of the womb, arthritis on the knee. At the instance of that word, the pain is gone. The knee is free. Move yes, the knee. Free. Move, the knee. Knees. Move the knee. Move the knee. Fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Go and bring forth your children. Go and bring forth your children. Go and bring forth your children. By this time next year, I announce, if your marriage door was closed, they are open right now. You will be here with your husband, with your wife. If the womb, door of the womb is closed, it is open right now. You will be here with your twins and with your triplets. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes sir trusting God for the fruit of the womb for five solid years with the usher condition and her word came today. Six years, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, usher condition, heal. Fire! New pain for, for three months. Fire! Arthritis, God. Fire! Also Nine years of trusting God. God. Yes, womb is open, womb is open. Ten years of trusting God for he, fruit of the womb is he, I mean, and then arthritis, gone. Fire, all the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Go forth and bring forth. Arthritis, two years, ten years, trusting God for the Fire, all the, the Holy Ghost. Go bring forth. Also, four years, trusting God for four years. Fire, all the Holy Ghost. God. Also, four years, also trusting God for the past four years. Fire, all the Holy Ghost. Go bring forth your children. Bring forth your children. Also, for eight years, and also trusting God for the fruit of the womb. For how long? Eight years. Eight years. The ulcer and the, and, the, and the fruit of the womb at the same age. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb for seven years. Also for ten years. And knee injury. Knee. All together. Pace. Now, for more of years. them are coming. We cannot continue at that rate. In the name that is above every name, you are all healed. Amen. Your fruit of the womb is released. Amen. Go forth. Lift your hands together. Father, let the fire fall. One, two, three. Fire your children help them take your children take your children go receive your children go bring forth your children go forth go forth go forth and bring forth father in the name of jesus it's over over come she has been bent over like that Find out from this one. Go! 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 Sit, sit up. Stand up. Stand. Lift your hand. Did you see how she came? How many of you saw how she came? Told me she was straight up before and then July like an evil arrow was fired into her body and then suddenly she found herself bent down like that. And now God just healed her, sir. Fire! 
fire of the Holy Ghost. Arrow back to sender. Arrow back to sender. This is a condition of doubly bent. Double bent over. As you preach in the other in, on, on Tuesday. Stand up. What's called right, your sister sky forces? Lift you up like Peter did. Lift your hand up. Are you just sitting and looking? I wonder where the camera is looking. Are you just looking like that? Did you see how the woman came here? Bent double, bent double, bent double. Maya, ya, 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 Sit him up as well. Maya, ya, 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 ya. Somebody from a wheelchair. Are you just looking like that? Hand, but several hospitals. We've gone to several hospitals. So when I told them about this convention, they had to fly all the way from Asaba to attend this meeting. 
today he was wielding this evening wielding yes and he had been debilitated like this for how long for at least three months for three, three months, months. Sir. show us how he came in here right on that wheelchair and he had to be wheeled in God of love, Dr. Enoche, I told you that if I see anything, I step into this church. You see, Jesus. My husband will come back. Is that they will you come you back are the one tonight. My husband, and you were pushing him to my come. My husband will eat the fruit of his labor. He will not walk empty handed. He will not. He will not go empty handed. And, and you will this like this to come in here today. Now, now, Daddy, stand up now. Daddy, stand now. See how energetic he's standing. Daddy. It's now your turn to push that chin. Daddy, push it. Just push it on. Yes, you. Hey! I'm a shea. Somebody give the king yes, the pain. Yes, you are. I'm a shea. Lift your hands. Yes, Father, you Father, thank you for perfection. I'm thank you for perfection. Thank you for perfection. Arrow of debilitation, arrow of death and destruction. You are returned back to hell. Power! Jesus! In the name of Jesus, completely whole, completely free, completely whole, completely healed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, stand up, sir. How much she are? Yes, you are. Are you just looking? Yes, you are. How much she are? Yes, you are. How much she are? observations to me now they had brought him outside yes this afternoon for yes. you to pray for him you prayed and left it wasn't like anything happened or we didn't see but inside the atmosphere yes you didn't need to go and touch him that's right and he got up out of the wheelchair that's right he's a reverend oh he's a man of god yes serving god Oh. And God decided to honor him. Today. No, you are, you, are, you are. God honors you. God honors you. You shall serve the Lord your God. Mama says all his children are pastors. Yes. Yes. All, all the children all. are pastors. This one is pastoring in Kenya. That's right. What a, what a mighty, 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 mighty God. You will fulfill your days. Your father will fulfill his days. Your parents will fulfill their days. Yourself, you will fulfill your days. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. What a night. Congratulations. Yes, 
you are. I'm a seer. Yes, you are. Mama says she tapped that grace. I tapped that grace. That grace of hope. That grace of miracle. That grace of sense of Mama is tapping more now. More than the healing of her husband. She needs a grace to say. I tapped that grace today. Hallelujah. Every single one, God bless you. Papa walks back to his seat and then the, the wheelchair goes back to where it, wherever it will go. Your testimonies are confirmed in Jesus' name. Mama, stand up again. You know your testimony, brother, man out. Good. Good, 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 good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Return back to the seat until it's perfected. Just return back. Are you just looking like that? Sit here, sit here, sit here. Okay, she's you're already free. All right, congratulations. So walk back to your seat like a gentle lady. Did you see how she came out? Completely hey. bent down like hey. Are you just looking like that? who saw that mama when she came and I think the video people are still showing us how she came that is exactly 90 degrees exactly 90 degrees everything that is crooked in your life everything that was crooked that's right everything that is crooked in your life everything that was crooked in your life everything that is crooked in your life is straightening up right now 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 somebody shout power This is the kind of God I like to serve. Holy Ghost I don't hijack. want your theoretical church. Hijack. Cunningly totally device fables. I don't want miracle that you want, you want to explain. I want miracle that explains itself. <laughs> Aquai bomb state, get ready. We are coming for crusade very shortly. Something explosive, 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 explosive. Shut Our sister, now, if you are not here in the afternoon, I, I cannot quantify what you missed. That teaching, the, final, the pastor from Chicago, I know you are from America, and you are hearing all manner of business teaching, financial teaching. Can you tell me what you heard about that? teaching today that is this is, okay thank you this the teaching the teaching did all manner of things to me i learned a lot but from this teaching everything i have learned from the secular world just kind of looks like child's play, child's, like play. child's play 
like the access, the supernatural aspect of it. That while you were teaching, I was receiving. My mind opened to so many things. And, and as you know, a little bit, I do one or two it's things. Incredible. This evening. Ay, 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 ay. What happened to your pastor from America too? When I listened to the, to the testimony of the man with the eggs. The I was, eggs man? Yes. I was just... 100,000 crates per month. Yes, sir. 100,000 per month. 105,000. 105,000 layers, 100,000 crates yes, per sir. month. So I was three just... Years. I was just there and I was looking at him. And all I can see is just create a structure and everything will start to flow. Structure in God, flow from God. That's all I see. And it's so powerful to me. I see Pastor Andy, Evangelist Andy, itching. What did you hear? Praise the Lord. Today's ministration was uh, to me, it made me to unlearn. I thought, yes, I thought I learned some things. <laughs> I thought I was practicing some things. Yes. But when I had practical illustration today, it was a new thing in time. He has been in business for donkey years. He has things everywhere. For example, when you talk about tight of all, I've been doing tightening. But the way you explained the tight of all gave me a new word of understanding. That's right. And from today, TOA, tight of all, has become a principle that I'll be practicing. Wow. I have seen the result in their lives and it will manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And then you talked about order. If we need to put structure in place, things will fall out of order if there is no structure. And it's, it's amazing. Please, for everyone that missed the lesson, get the video. Get the video and take it over and over again. Praise the Lord. I actually, I'm actually believing that the... The testimonies, I hope that the, our technical people put the testimonies together. That, those testimonies. Some people told me, they said, the testimony, it was like chemistry practical. The pastor has been teaching, I want to have a pastor, he said, you have, we have been teaching this thing, but when the people came to speak, it was the practical, it was the practical. Somebody joined this church only two years. He said, he, 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 when he heard testimony of people having an encounter, he put picture everywhere, everywhere, expecting to have an encounter with the pastor. No way. Nothing was working. He said he thought that tight belongs to pastor. So when he became a Christian, came here, he said, this is a very big church. The pastor must be very comfortable. <laughs> there is no need to give him any tight. And everything was dry. Until he came before God and made a vow. Everything you give me, 10% tight, 10% profit offering, 10% welfare, 5% free will offering. The same night, heaven opened, he had an encounter. And the servant of the Lord said, let me go to your house. Let me leave. And then they, before he knew it, they disappeared and found himself in their house. I want to sleep in your house. I want to sleep on your bed. Next day, contract came. One million came. Then two million, then another million, then another million. Now he says, tighten in six zeros weekly, weekly. Who's phone? Who's, who is this? Okay. Oh, yes, it's hundred and three thousand three hundred crates a day. Yes, 99,000 crates per month. That's approximately 100,000 in a month. That's what we say. Now, after this afternoon, a woman in our midst sent the message. Um, he said, Senior Pastor, good evening, sir. Our God is too good. After the business meeting today, at about 4.36 p.m. precisely, I received an alert of part of my money. How much? 93 million. Part of the money that Ajib was had been owing for two years. Part of it. <laughs> hey! 
ay, 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 ay. Somebody give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a shout of praise. Look at somebody by your side say, it is working. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Pick that message. Accessing supernatural supply. But especially the testimonies. Uh, can I confirm that the testimony is recorded? I'm sure that at least the video of everything is available. You pick it up and it will do something for you. Let's go quickly this night. Uh, I'm going to be praying at the end. We're going to be praying myself and Dr. Mr. Nencher on the single um, document. And also praying for the fruitfulness. And then praying also for the business vision I told you about. Anybody ready for that? And so let's go very, very quickly this night. Open your Bibles to the book of Esther chapter 2. One of those people standing there who testified this afternoon, one of them showed me a, a, a contract paper of about, I think, 8 billion. Like four weeks ago from the same practices <laughs> Allah, Allah. whether the devil likes it or not this end time we must command the resources Esther chapter 2 and in verse 15 now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her the lord bless his word in the name of jesus the message tonight is titled from who you used to be to who you are meant to be the esther experience The story of Esther is the story that is familiar that every Bible scholar or Bible student should be very, very aware of. The story of, the, of Esther, the summary of the story of Esther is how an, a seemingly ordinary person can experience extraordinary lifting by the help of God. Very, very quickly, like we have done in the other character studies, what was special about Esther? Number one, Esther was a person of quality physical appearance in Esther chapter 2 and in verse 7 the Bible said that this girl and he brought up Hadassah that is Esther he's talking about Mordecai now his uncle's daughter his uncle's daughter that is his cousin Esther and Mordecai were cousins just that Mordecai is an older person, much, much, much older. Old enough to be her father, but they were cousins. I'm sure you understand that, that kind of setting. Alright? I'm still reading. Her uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. So Esther had this going for her that she was a person of quality physical appearance beautiful personality beautiful person number two esther was a person of unusual opportunity unusual opportunity she participated in the contest 
that was held for the replacement of the arrogant Queen Vashta. There were many ladies in the land, but they said, look for this and that and that quality of character of person. And Esther was a person of unusual opportunity. Esther chapter 2 and in verse 8. The Bible said that, so it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Sushan the palace, to the custody of Haggai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. Now, for those who may be thinking that we are running ahead of time, I'm sure you are familiar with the fact that the king had a wife by the name Vashti, the queen of the Persian Empire, and then she offended the king in such a terrible manner. When the king said, come, she refused to come. It was a rebellion, a stubbornness. And the people in the land said, this cannot be allowed to go on. Otherwise, rebellion will explode in the land. And let's get a replacement for her. So they were looking for replacement. And Esther was among those that was shortlisted for the contest. Unusual opportunity. Number three, Esther was a person of quality personality. You see, there may be people who have good physical appearance, but they lack any personality that is pleasant. She was a person of quality and pleasant personality. The Bible said in Esther chapter 2 and in verse 9, and I'll talk about this much later, and they made him please him, that is Esther now, and she obtained kindness of him, that is kindness of Haggai, the keeper of the women. She pleased him. We will look into the detail of that later. She pleased him. She was a person of quality and pleasant personality. That was Esther. And what was Esther? Furthermore, number four, Esther was a person of quality character. Quality character. When the turn of Esther came that she should go in, Esther required nothing. In the book of Esther chapter 2 and in verse 15, she required nothing except that except that nothing but what he guy the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed quality character number five esther was a person of quality spirituality when it was time to wait on the Lord because of the situation in the land. She said, I am going to go to the king, which is not according to custom. And if I perish, I perish. Quality, spirituality. That was Esther chapter 4 and in verse 16. There are many other things that went for Esther, but we'll look at that later on. Now, but what was the battle Esther had to surmount. Where was she? What was the condition she was in? How was the, the back, what is the background of the whole thing? Number one, battle. Number one situation. Esther was a, a woman of double challenge. Double challenge. And the challenge, the double, a woman of the double challenges. Of being a slave. As well as an orphan. She was, alright, orphan first. The double challenges of being an orphan and a slave in a foreign land. Orphan, slave, in a foreign land. The meaning of that is, Esther was meant to be a person of minimal possibility and minimal breakthrough because of her status. Maybe you are here seated today and there is something like that that you are facing. Double wahala double palaver 
she was an orphan we looked at that already in Esther chapter 2 and in verse 7 number 2 hmm. Esther was faced with an opportunity that could end in adversity ah, yeah. the opportunity to become queen was also connected with the possibility of adversity somebody say what do you mean pastor let me tell you those women that were recruited for interview we have passed through scrutiny for one year hello 12 months They gave them oil and oil of mer and things for purification. Esther chapter 2 from verse 14. Now that was hazardous enough. Esther chapter 2 start from verse 12. That was hazardous enough. Now when every maid's turn was come to go into King Ahasuerus. After that she had been 12 months according to the manner of the women so were the days of their purifications accomplished to wit six months with the oil of myrrh and six months with sweet odors and with other things for the purifying of the women before they will be presented to the person that will scrutinize them before the person presents them to the king it was 12 year 12 months of stress am i communicating that is not a challenge. See the major challenge, verse 13. Then thus came every maiden unto the king. Whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went to the king's house and tomorrow she returned into the second house of the women to the custody of Sheash Gaz, the king's chamberlain, which came kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more. Except the king delighted in her and that she was called by name. Did you hear that? All the women, if there are 1,000 of them that came for the interview, everyone that has passed through the scrutiny for 12 months, one by one you are presented to the king overnight. If the king chooses you as queen, you remain in the queen's palace with the king. If he did not choose you, you are not returned back to your father's house. You are not marrying another man. You are kept in the house of the women for the rest of your life. The king has seen you. No man is permitted to near you. disaster oh. every young lady wants to marry oh. to hell we seen the king <laughs> to hell we seen the king God forbid she says she is called no more until the day of her death she is living in widowhood she is alive in the house of the king but she is not a wife without a husband without a child for the rest of her life that is so that invitation was a, was a confrontation of destiny maybe this may answer somebody here today not every door is an opening door some are traps in disguise you don't just rush into every door and you think oh praise god i have a breakthrough there are doors that are traps in disguise until god opens the door for you never over celebrate any door because some are traps in disguise when i saw it i screamed what what i am not married 
They ask for, you, you, you ask the king for everything you want. Because after that, you can ask for nothing more. No man will ask for your hand in marriage. Marital destiny over. Maternity destiny over. Your potential as a mother, gone. Your possibility as a wife, gone. You came into an open door that was a trap. You came in. That was why Esther must be very rugged. She must be very spiritual. When that invitation came, she must have done everything possible. Lord, I, I am already a slave. I am already an orphan. I cannot be a widow. I cannot be childless. I cannot. I am already in this condition. Something must change in my life. I stand here by the anointing of the Holy Ghost to prophesy upon everybody here today. Whatever is a trap that the enemy has organized for your life, for your destiny, for your marriage, for your children, that trap is broken. I said the trap is broken. Look at Psalm 124, verse 1. Place from the screen very quickly. And I'm reading it right now. He said, I will lift up my up. Psalm 124, verse 1. Psalm 124, verse 1. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have over overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the proud waters has gone over our soul. He said, but blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their feet. Our soul is escaped as a snare bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. There is somebody tonight who is escaping. Escaping the snare. Escaping the trap. Escaping what the enemy planned for you. Shout the Lord say, amen. Give the Lord the praise. Ay, 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 ay. Third challenge of Esther. Esther was faced. Huh. So when you read Esther's story, and you told what a favored girl, it was, it was trap that God brought her out of. Esther was faced. as a victim of vengeance from an adversary of the Jews by the name Haman. She was placed as a victim, a recipient of vengeance. Anybody knows who Haman was? You know who Haman was? Can I tell you about Haman more tonight? Haman was a Jew. Haman was an enemy of the Jew. And you might like to know the root of his enmity with the Jew. Only one person offended Haman. But Haman said, I will wipe out his race. In Esther chapter 3 verse 4 to 6. I'll read all the way. Now it came to pass when they spake. And, and Esther was a Jew too. When it came to pass when they spake daily unto him. And he hearkened not unto them. That they told him and to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand. For he had told them that he was a Jew. And when him and saw that Mordecai bowed not. Nor did him reverence. Then Haman was fool. And when Haman saw that Medecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. And he thought scorn. He said, it's child play to lay hands on Mordecai alone. For they had showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of, the, of Ahasuerus. Even the people of Mordecai. In the first month, that is the month Nisan, in the twelfth year of the king Ahasuerus, they cast the poor. That is that is sorcery, that is witchcraft, that is occultism, that is 
before him man from day to day from month to month from the first month to the 12th month of the year that is one full year to determine the exact date to execute the jews ay, 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 ay. keep going and man said to Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom. And their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. It's not good for the king to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. I will personally pay 10,000 talents of silver. Hey man, what is your special interest? just kill them i will pay the money to finish them Ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries and the king without investigating without even thinking that his wife was among these people took his signet ring ring was what they used in signatures in those days from his hand and gave it to haman the son of hamadeta the agagite the jews enemy and the king said unto Haman, the silver, don't pay, I will give you the silver. The silver is giving you the people also to do with them as it seemeth good to you. Haman, did you hear what the king just said now? Haman, the son of, son of Hamadita, the Agagite. I looked at the definition of Agagite. He said, descendant of Agag. Anybody knows Agag? You don't know Agag. <laughs> it is quarrel of yesterday. It's not today's quarrel. Haman, the son of Amadeta, the Agagite, was a descendant of Agag, the king of the Amalekites, that God asked Israel to wipe out. You saw that in First Samuel chapter 15 from verse 1. When God spoke to Samuel and he said, Samuel said unto Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint you to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. God said the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. How he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek. Utterly destroy all that they have. And spare them not. But slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. And Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Telan, 200,000 footmen and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to the city of Amalek and laid wait in the valley. And Saul said unto Kenites, Go depart, get you down from am among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you showed kindness to all the children of Israel. When they came out up out of Egypt, so the Canaanites departed from the Amalekites, and so smote the Amalekites from Havilah until thou comest to Shur, that is over against Egypt. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. You finish our people. They also killed my father. For some reason, some of us escaped. And we are still alive. It is my turn to finish your people. That is vengeance speaking. <laughs> is God speaking to anybody here at all? I stand here to announce today every battle of yesterday that your fathers fought that the enemy is trying to use to finish you today. That battle is cancelled. That amen is still paralyzed. That amen is too paralyzed. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Every spirit of vengeance that is following you from your father's house, every spirit of vengeance following you from your lineage, I am anointed to announce today that vengeance spirit is over forever. Whatever your grandfather entered with, you, with, with the enemy, whatever transactions they did in those days that is trying to affect your marriage, affect your fruit of the womb, affect your children. I announce it is cancelled. 
Say after me, say in the name of Jesus. I refuse to fight the battles of my ancestors. I receive, I refuse to bear the vengeance of, of the spirit of vengeance after my ancestors. I refuse it now in the name of Jesus. Somebody say loud, Amen. Take your seat. Am I communicating? I want to pay the money and finish your people. But Esther's case and Mordecai's case was worse than the case of the other people of the Jews. Because Esther and Mordecai are both related to Saul. And Haman was a magician. He casted the poor and found out. These people are not just Jews, but the blood relation. I'm sure Mordecai would have discerned. That was why he told this. I don't reveal to them your people during the interview. Don't show them where you came from. Now look at that in the book of Esther chapter 2 verse 5. Now in Shushan the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, the Benjamite. Who was the father of Saul? Kish, the Benjamite. You saw it in first in first Samuel chapter 9, verse 3. <laughs> and the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. The same Kish, whose children were Shimei and Saul and others. So these are great grandchildren of the one who wiped out our people. I hate the Jews generally, but I hate Mordecai in particular. Oh no 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 there was something there was something between there was there was something that was an issue it was not general and it was not it's like you know me i know you you know me we know each other you know me i know you you took my position and you, your father killed my people somebody stand up on your feet and just fight some fight right now lift up your voice and say in the name of jesus Say it louder in the name of Jesus. In the name of, in Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I refuse, I refuse to be a victim be a, of my father's battles. My father's battles. I, refuse I refuse to be a victim, be a victim of, my of my father's battles. I cannot die. I cannot die. I cannot die. I cannot die. I cannot be destroyed. I cannot be destroyed because of the actions, of, the actions of, my of my father and forefathers. And forefathers. Open your mouth now and brutally declare: I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to be a victim of my father's battles. I cannot die. I cannot be destroyed because of the actions of my fathers and forefathers in Jesus name so shall it be give the Lord a praise and take your seat so this passage 
is full of light, full of insight. Now, they are trying to finish them because of their father. And then one thing to know is that Mordecai was a great man. Meanwhile, there was royal possibility in his lineage. Is His grandfather Kish was such a wealthy man that had cattle. His great, great, his great grandfather Saul, Saul, the son of Kish, was the first king of Israel and he was a great man. And great granddaughter of this great king was a slave. An orphan. And Jehovah said, Mantles don't die. I take the mantles of your grandfather. I give it to you, Mordecai, become prime minister. I take the mantles of your grandfather. I give it to you, Esther, become, become the princess of the Persian Empire. Hey! I announce to somebody here today every greatness in your lineage that suddenly disappeared you shall bring it back stand on your feet and shout amen like a believer every greatness in your lineage that disappeared you shall bring it back every mantle of your father's house that the enemy had disappeared i prophesy is returned now somebody shout i receive the mantles of my lineage it cannot die it cannot disappear My spiritual and physical lineage, spiritual and physical, spiritual and physical. Some of us, we are not connected to smallness at all. Spiritual and physical, spiritual. From spiritual line, see the spiritual lineage, see the physical lineage. My father, I saw luxury bus brand new at age six, age seven. Mercedes car brand new. The grand, great grandfather they named me after, the one that one, was a very brutal guy. He was not a physical king, but he controlled, he was a king maker. He determined who became king. My father's mother was an area judge, the first one in her place. The first to ride a car. My, the father of my mother. Yes, I saw he snapped with his car. Governed as a judge. And it goes on and on like that. Some people are saying, but what of me? My own people are herbalists. Native doctor. Wheelbarrow pusher. I have good news for you. Saul was the first person to become important in his family. His grandfather was zero. That is his name. Zero. First Samuel chapter 9 verse 1. Look at it. And now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of who? <laughs> hey! Hey! Ay, 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 ay. Stand up on your feet and let me announce something to you. In case you are from a family of zero, I am here to announce to you 
you are here because God is raising you. He's raising you. He's raising you as the first person to bring your family out. The first person to bring your family out. The first person to bring your family out. If you are saying amen, shout it like a believer. 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 Ay, 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 Help me shake the hands of seven people. Tell them God is trying to use you to set a pace. He's trying to use you to break something open. He's trying to use you to make history. He's trying to use you to set a pace. Jaya, ya, 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 ya. Leke teke shike peke tikada. Zara teke balare teke sotida. Shepe lite fete sikala. Somebody give a 60 second shout of victory. A clap, a shout, a leap for 60 seconds. Shayayaya, 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 shayayaya. Let us see Pelana. Let us see the little fetus. Zike Pele Treaty Soda. Shata Lete Fete Sita. Give another shout of victory. Are you shouting at all? 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 Hey, 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 hey! You are coming out. 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 The vengeance is over. Give him a shout as you take your seat. Something just happened in the realm of the spirit. The Bible said the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. This light that just arrived has killed mediocrity out of your life. Has killed low, ay, 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 low self-worth out of your life. Inferiority complex is dying now. You shall have a voice. You shall have a voice. Shout yes. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. If I stop here tonight, you are overloaded. Overloaded. But let me round off. What is the key? What was the key to Esther's victory in the face of these odds? Being a, a, a lady of very limited, very limited possibilities, slave often, Entering an opportunity that was an adversity in disguise. Being a victim of enemy aggression that was fighting a generational vengeance fight. How do you survive? What was Esther's secret number one? Favor with God that was occasioned by quality character. Favor with God that was occasioned by qualitative character when it was the turn of esther in esther chapter 2 verse 15 she maintained such a character i said no i am not those um, kind of braggadocious arrogant ostentatious girls i'm not that type i won't ask you to give me blue mascara and green mascara and yellow mascara and white mascara and give me a mask in fact no 
just whatever it is that you think is good for me. Okay. That character was a combination of humility and contentment. That was devoid of arrogance and covetousness. If you can maintain, because God resisted the proud and give it grace to the humble. If you can maintain the character of humility and the lifestyle of contentment, you are not a thief. You are not grabbing what is not yours. You are not diverting what was not given to you. Then there is nothing you cannot face. Favor with God. Occasion by the quality character of contentment and humility. Number two, submission. And obedience to mentoral instruction and guidance. Mentoral obedience and submission to mentoral instruction and guidance. In Esther chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible showed us how Queen Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred. For Mordecai, her physical father, spiritual mentor, had charged her that she should not reveal it. Supposing she started talking cha 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 like most young ladies do. Oh, do you know I'm, I'm, I'm a Jew? And then they will tell the invigilator, this is a stranger. It's not a member of the Persian Empire. This one is a foreigner. Oh, a Jew. You say a Jew. Be on your way. Be on your way. She wouldn't have near the palace. Not to talk of the opportunity of speaking to the king on behalf of the Mordecai and the Jew. Who speaks to your life? Who you hear determines what you can face. Who speaks to your life? It is instruction that is the cure for frustration. Whose instruction are you under? I am not talking about occasional instruction. I am talking of tenacious perennial instruction. Who is behind you determines what you can face. Archbishop Benson in the house are the lion of blessed memory said. If an antelope has the backing of a lion, he can face an elephant. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Mordecai, Mordecai, Esther was in submission. The mantle of your father is what fights the battles of your destiny. But that is not what moved me the most. Esther was still under mentoring. Even after she had become queen. In Esther chapter 2 verse 20. In verse 15 and 16. She was already queen. Esther had not yet showed her kindred nor her people. As Mordecai had charged her. For Esther did the commandment of Mordecai. Even when she's already queen. Like as when she was brought up with him. Esther was still listening to her mentor as the queen of the Persian Empire. How far have you grown that they can't talk to you anymore? How much money do you have that you cannot be advised anymore? What is your political position that you cannot be counseled anymore? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? Papa Yedeko said, till the day he draws his last breath, he will always ensure that there is somebody over him. He said every single year, hands lay on his head. He had the boy, God's servant, Kenneth Copeland. Hand must land he won't start. 
Even before Shiloh, he will go for handling to step into the program. How far have you gone? That is a man who is employed 50, about 50,000 people receiving salary under his watch. Planted about 10,300 churches last year. Last year. Not the whole of during lockdown. How far have you gone that your shoulder is high? You have legs us. So what? You sleep in a duplex. White duplex. How many of it can you sleep in a night? You get profit offering or whatever offering of one million dollars. And so what? Esther was still, you see, there are people who cannot sustain their lifting. Because whatever you did to go up is what you must do to stay up. If instruction brought you there, instruction must keep you there. There is somebody who was struggling, struggling, struggling. He has election, he has this, he has that. We prayed for him. God lifted him. The last time I prayed for him was the last time I heard from him. Almost seven or eight years ago. It's very important. Until affliction arrived, then he sent some people. I said, please, meet that man and ask him, beg him for me. Let me I need prayer. Am I communicating at all? You will not miss it. You will not miss it. As long as your head is under cover, the enemy will not find it. You didn't hear what I just said. For as long as your head is under cover. So when it was time for, he gave her an instruction. Can you talk to the king for us? Esther wanted to mess up. He said, what are you talking about? Because you are queen now. Don't think that you have escaped. Help can come from any other quarter. But who knows that you will escape anything? He said, I'm sorry, sir. Just go and pray for me. I'll fast for three days. It's not according to custom. I'll go to the king. If I die, let me die. I can't argue with you. I will go and meet the king. One day wanted to embark on a ministry project. I told my father and the Lord, this is what we want to do. He said, don't dare it. Don't touch it. It wasn't anything bad. Something to enhance the church. He said, and they had done it. So I wanted to follow his example. I said, no, don't, don't go in that direction. I said, wow. Yes, sir. I didn't understand. Later on, I understood the wisdom. Later on, I understood the wisdom. And I appreciated the counsel. Am I communicating at all? Obedience, submission. There is no genuine mentor who is envious of a protege. Whatever they tell you is in your interest. The interest of your life, the interest of your destiny is God speaking. That was what made Esther to sur surmount that challenge. There are people who don't have pastors anymore. Everybody is their pastor. Until God does not know who to pass through to change their lives. One church this Sunday, another church next Sunday, another church next Sunday, another church next Sunday. This year, this is my pastor. Next year, that's not my pastor. No, sir. Submission, obedience, and submission to mentoral direction and guidance. Number three is a pleasant disposition to life with a, a very positive mental attitude. A pleasant disposition to life with a very positive mental attitude. The Bible said when they saw Esther, Esther chapter 2 verse 9, she pleased, she pleased him so I checked why was the meaning of pleased him. Very cheerful. Very, very cheerful. Very, very sweetly. Excitable. 
came with a sunshine in her soul, in her eyes. Though an orphan, though a slave, though she had the possibility of being quarantined for life. But she came excited. She came happy. She came chatty. And she pleased. There are people who have rendered themselves useless because of so-called problem of life. So depressed you don't want to hang around them. One day a young man came to our house. My daughter here, little girl about three or four years there, he pointed at her and said, Daddy, I don't like that man. I don't like this man. He said, this man, this man. And truly, you will not like the man. Nobody will like him. His countenance is permanently downcast. And he has complained about every mortal being. The whole world is against him. This guy is in his 50s now. Has not dreamt of marriage yet. Oh, no, he has not dreamt of it. Just move, just moody. Don't behave like the whole world is on your head. For to him that is joined to the living, there is hope. A living dog is better than a dead life. Somebody give a shout of victory. Just do it. Give a shout of victory. Irrespective of what the enemy said concerning you, give a shout of victory. Give a shout of victory. Irrespective of enemy diagnosis, give a shout of victory. Take your seat. It doesn't matter what you are going through, there is something to shout about. There is something to laugh about. There is something to be happy about. Just look for those things. Just look for those things. There is life. You have life. You have God. You have church. You have brethren. And it's only a matter of a little time. And that time is now. And your life and your story and your destiny is changing. Shout the loudest. Amen. They brought somebody to Abraham Lincoln, I think, for work or employment or something. And Abraham Lincoln said, I don't like his face. I, he can't walk here. Somebody said, oh, sir, you cannot hold him responsible for his face. He said, every adult, especially above the age of 40, is responsible for how they look. That's what he said. <laughs> it's responsible for how they look. They are responsible. If they are every adult, if they are happy, they are responsible. If they are not happy, hold them responsible. Because the happenings should not determine your happiness. The joy from the inside, the joy from the inside, the joy, the peace of God that passes understanding should determine your excitement. Somebody came around me and my wife one day. He said, do you make your wife to laugh all the time? I said, well, that is my lifestyle. My children, my, life, my wife, they are laughing all the time. Dining table everywhere. I grew up to know how to make people to laugh. You know, when I was a child, at times I would start working one some kind. Just, and, and I married a wife who knew how to respond to such. <laughs> she, 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 she responsive. Because there are some people you, 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 you want to excite them on your own. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are practically on your own. Am I communicating? From today, I cause every spirit of this, this, every spirit of depression, every garment of downcastedness. I declare it cursed right now in the name of Jesus. Look at somebody by us. I say life is worth the living. I refuse to carry the whole world on my head. There is something to shout about. There is something to be happy about. And I am going to shout and be happy with life. Take your seat one minute. We'll soon finish. Number four. What was it that worked for Esther? Number four. Is spiritual fervency and vibrancy spiritual fervency and vibrancy she was a woman who knew the power of spirituality so when the challenge arose 
there was only one way to turn. I and my maidens we are going to fast. Am I communicating? She knew the power of prayer, the power of fasting. Don't be too, don't be too grown up. Don't be too grown up to be too big for fasting. I, I was talking with one man of God and please pa pardon me and we're just in and I say what is here is it out of your belly shall come oceans of river living water oceans our own is river your own is ocean no because of um, how rotundic it looks he told me wait until you become 50 he said there is a certain age that you must bring this thing forward I said okay let's go I have they, it has come and passed and the balance couldn't come forward please don't mind me i don't some 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 people are genetically loaded that is it, it follow come okay so <laughs> but for some of us the possibility of that thing or any measure of it don't it died long ago okay you can you preach like this you burn away too many fat and then you are eating breakfast some days by 3 o'clock. The other day I told my driver by 6 p.m., can you bring my breakfast bag? She said, Daddy, he said, Daddy, breakfast? I said, bring my breakfast bag. That was 6 o'clock. That was not a day I wanted to fast. That was the time I remember to eat. <laughs> are you, are you following? Don't tell up to today our father in the lord is fasting aggressively every wednesday of his life is a fast plus other days 21 days at the beginning of the year is a fast three days out of the beginning of every month is a fast at that level don't talk about the, the baba's own am i communicating Spirituality sustains destiny. Your destiny will not be aborted. Can somebody say a loud amen? Can somebody say a loud amen? Can somebody say a loud amen? Lift your hands and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My destiny cannot be aborted. Again, don't mind me. There are people who have natural bodies. I've seen a man who have he has fasted for 40 days no food and he does that consistently yet he has body size so i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not accusing you for that but food too much eating all the time has made many people lost destiny what ushered adam and eve out of the garden of eden what made his son lose his birthright Too much eating can cause some losses. And when you deal away with food for a good cause for some time, it can result to some gains. Sila. Finally, divine wisdom and strategic operation. Esther was wise. I'm very strategic. Many of us, it's not money we need now, it's wisdom. It's not anointing we need now, it's wisdom. If you have wisdom, you are going to see results that will shock you. Esther chapter 5, verse 1 to 8. Let's stop there. When it was time for Esther to see the king, the king put out the royal scepter. He was coming to tell the king about what Haman wanted to do to them. Come, queen, my queen. What do you want from me? I have set a banquet for you. All right, let's go. And he ate the banquet. So what do you want me to do for you? Please, sir, I have another banquet for you. And in that one, I want you to come with him. Man. Wow. She did, not, she did not talk the first time. Don't talk too much. Let your action be more than your talks. Am I 
communicate. This same principle was what the, 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 the uncle told her. Don't talk too much about who you are and where you are from. Zip your lip. Apply break. Not everywhere you find yourself, you must talk. And not everywhere you are talking, you must say everything. Our pastors at times will be controlling some people on the altar here. What they tell them at the testimony stand is different from what they will be saying here. So the pastor says, okay, let me say it for you. That is not what you told me. That is, that is, you don't have a control. Just straight to the point. So he said, come again. And, and the king said, I should come back. Yes, my Lord. Okay, I will be coming. Strategic wisdom. By the time he affected her stomach, his stomach twice, he entered his heart. And he said, they have, and of course the man liked feasting. He had his own feast, and then Queen Vashta was in competition with him, and did her own feast, which made him sack her. So what are you talking about, my queen? Have you eaten enough? My people have been given for, for sacrifice. There is genocide. They want to kill all of us. King said, what? Kill you, my wife. Who is that? See the man sitting beside you. This wicked Haman. Hola, hola. While the king stood up in anger, Haman went on his, on his knees holding the queen, leg, begging for mercy. And the king said, what? You want to force her to? While the word was in the king's mouth, they covered his eyes. They, the executioners covered his face with blanket. The type they used to cover prisoners that are sentenced to death. And one of them said, Oga, in case you are looking for where to kill him, he made a, a gallow in his backyard for Mordecai. He said, take him there, hang him on the spot. The king was fuming until the man died. Hang all his ten sons with him. Perish his generation the way he wanted to perish the Jews. When all that happened, <sighs> then his anger began to calm down. Where is his house? Give it to Esther. No, I don't need it. I'm living with you already. Give the house to Mordecai. That was how Mordecai inherited the property of his enemy. Tonight, whatever the devil has decided to do to you, Jehovah will reverse it back to them. The pit they have dug for you, they shall step into that pit. God will give you the inheritance of your enemies. If I say more than this tonight, it is over preaching. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands, appreciate him. Honor him, adore him. Worship him, glorify him. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be honored. He is worthy to be adored. Lift your voice. Lift your hands. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Jehovah Mekadesh. We worship you. Thank you. Blessed be your name. We prayed so much before the preaching, so we won't do so much of it tonight. But one prayer Lord, do with me what you did with Esther and Mordecai. Father, do with me tonight. Everybody be upstanding, be upstanding. And there's no movement out now until the next five minutes at the most, the next 10 minutes. Father, do with me what you did with the Queen Esther. I am available. Do with me, Lord. Lift your voice and speak to God. Speak to God. Do with me. 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 What you did. Do with me, Lord. What you did with the Queen Esther. I am available, Lord. I am available, Lord. Do 
with me, Lord, what you did with the Queen Esther, what you did with Mordecai. I am available. Thank you and thank you in Jesus' precious name. Lift up those expectations, expectation forms. Also lift up the list of the things that you brought your expected date of marriage, the singles, and the qualifications of the spouse you are trusting God for. Women trusting for the fruit of the womb. When you want to give birth, and what are the names of the children you remember? And then the business people in the afternoon today. What is your business vision for this year? What is your financial vision for the year, the balance of the year 2021? That's right. Once you have done that, you will lift it up. Let's the music flows slowly while we bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never. Oh my soul, worship His holy name. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and write it and write it and get Praise your. The Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh, my soul. worship His holy name. Sing like never, sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. Lift your Bless voice and sing. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. Lift your voice and sing. Oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never. Sing like never before Oh my soul Worship His holy name Bless the Lord Bless the Lord Oh my soul Oh my soul
to tie up now, Dr. Mr. Nature, I'd like you to come pray for the singles, expectation, expected date of marriage, the singles, list of what kind of husband they are expecting, and also the fruit of the womb. Please, everybody, keep your list up. Whether, yes, keep your list up, and then after that, I'll go ahead. We declare today in agreement for every single here that the Lord grants you your heart's desire in the name of Jesus. The items that you have stipulated on that list that you are lifting up, every realistic expectation, we declare them established in the name of Jesus. We declare you empowered to fulfill your portion of all that it takes as God carries out his own portion in the name of Jesus. As the covenants have been renounced and declarations have been made, I declare you are now free from every delay of marital destiny in the name of Jesus. You are now free from every ancestral covenant, every generational spell, every anti-marital spell, every spirit husband association, every spirit wife molestation that has prevented you from being successfully married in the physical. In the name of Jesus. Both those who have never married, those that are single again for whatever cause, we declare successful establishment maritally in the name of Jesus. And we declare everyone termed barren, everyone called in on non fertile, primary infertility, secondary infertility, caused by male factors, female factors, hormonal factors, uterine factors, um, uh, any satanic limitation. Today, that bondage is arrested from your life in the name of Jesus. You leave this conference to take in and in nine completed months successfully deliver your babies male and female in that order as many as you desire mother and baby alive and well in the name of Jesus. We declare it done in Jesus name. He performs the word of his servant and fulfills the counsel of his messenger. If I have preached his word, and I'm aware that I have preached his word, because it has been confirmed already severally by many testimonies. Therefore, I decree everything that is called an expectation yes, 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 yes. for someone here tonight by the morning, it is already your manifestation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. It is already your manifestation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Singles, congratulations. Yes. That date shall come to pass. Amen. That man whose picture you have shown by your writing, you shall see him shortly. Amen. That woman, you shall see her shortly Amen. in the name of Jesus. And according to the time of life, by this time next year, yes. every woman, every family trusting God for Amen. children, your children are already in your hands. Amen. Your single things, your twins, your triplets and quadruplets, they are already in your hands by this time Amen. next year. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The angels ministering on this altar are ministering on this ground and in this commission. They are released on assignment overnight. Amen. And they come back with you with your testimony. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Lift it high up still. Everyone here, while I pray the last prayer, you know that you need Jesus. We have seen all manner of miracles, healing, signs, wonders, everything here tonight. You need Jesus in your life. Quickly pick your bags and Bibles. Rush to the front here. I'll be praying for you. You need Jesus in your life. You need to be saved. You need to be born again. All these prayers you are praying will not work for you except you have surrendered your life to Jesus. Carry your Bibles. Carry your bags. Carry everything you have and come forward. While they are coming,
Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., will be the very last for this convention. And for the future of it, I will let you know by Sunday service. We are not having another one by Saturday because we have an all night. And so tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., everyone, all roads lead here for the last edition of early will I seek you for this convention. By 7.30 a.m., the first session commences. By 10.45, there about we are through. And then by 11.30, we are having a youth fire session. Everybody that is under 70 is a youth. All right? And the youth people, are we ready at all? Are we ready at all? I want us to be ready with all our acrobatics and all our that our little girl that is the olympic well, um, gold medalist in the gymnastics should be here tomorrow as well and then um, several of them by the afternoon meeting we have not the afternoon service all right okay tomorrow morning no tomorrow morning no um we might have a service for the oil wait a minute oh yes normally we do a morning anointing service on friday morning Yes, come with your bottles of oil. Come with your bottles of oil tomorrow morning for the morning session. Give the Lord a shout of praise. You come with your bottles of oil for the morning session. Thank you. Come with your bottles of oil for the morning session. And then by the time we are through, by 1.30, you go home, rest all you can. And all roads lead here in the night for the worship world and wonders night. God bless you. Lift up your expectation for the final time. Again, you need to rededicate yourself to Jesus. Step forward here. You need today to mark a new day for you. Step forward here. You want today to be a turning point for your life. Step forward here. You, you want to be delivered from an addiction. Something, a lifestyle you don't like. Step forward here. One more time. And if you are a first timer here, step forward here. Lift it higher. There are people we may not have recognized in the course of this program. We are overwhelmed with so many things. The past Reverend I.A. Charles. I don't know if we acknowledge the first time. You are welcome. Bishop Fidelis Subong, we appreciate your coming and the Lord bless you. We have several other men of God here and the Lord bless you. You will never remain the same. I believe that it's a new day for all of us. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up the expectation. Father, in the name that is above every name, I speak to every expectation here. As you proceed, this expectation becomes your manifestation. In the name of Jesus, it is your manifestation in Jesus' precious name. Go forth, break forth. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' precious name. See, I tell me in the name of Jesus, whether the devil likes it or not, my destiny is released. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you. God keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name. And 2021 is our year of what? Releases and what? Recoveries and what? Replications, multiplications. God bless you. Go forth and return back tomorrow morning 6 a.m. with your testimony.